Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Wednesday the 6th of October 2021. It's midweek, well working week anyway, mid middle of the working week and it's just after lunch here in Bangkok. So we're smack bang in the middle of the working week, smack bang in the middle of the day. And so it's like the center square of a Sudoku puzzle, there you go. It all's, it's, it's all hanging around us. Uh, right, this is the New York Times hard level puzzle. I think you know what to expect if you've been to this channel before. It's a daily puzzle. If not, it's your first time here, welcome. Please stay a while. Enjoy the game, play it yourself, and let me know how you get on. Right, um, let's see, shall we? Uh, what can we see about today's magic sudoku no magic involved okay eight blocking down here eight blocking across here and eight blocking across here is going to give me an eight in that square is my first number of the day six there's a six blocking across here and a six blocking across here and a six blocking down there so that's going to give me a six there Uh, seven block. Oh no, sorry. Almost made a faux pas there. Excuse me. By the way, if you are new to the channel, I should warn you. This is an unrehearsed channel, and I often make mistakes. Um, but if I make a fatal mistake, I'll I'll play the game again for you. Okay, two goes here, of course. I mean, if I make a mistake in logic, uh, and uh, I'll replay the game at some point. But I'll keep the original up to show you where the mistake was. I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel. Unlike those people hiding all their money. Threes are in short supply, aren't they? There's, I think there's only one three and there's only one four. Am I right? Four, yeah. Yeah, one three, one four. Let's go through the numbers and see uh, if anything is uh, just begging to be chosen or, or placed, let's say. Here we go. Six blocking down here, six blocking up here, and six across there. Should have continued with sixes, shouldn't I, when I was doing them before? Silly me. I uh, can't get them in the other two, in the other blocks, I think. Okay. Seven's a no mark. Okay, um, anything else? Ah, yeah, two blocking this square here, two blocking this square here, so that's two I've got to place there.
Sorry for the silence. Sounds of silence. I am. If you could hear any action involved in my brain, a kind of ticking sound, you would hear it loudly. Of course, brains don't work in that way. Not being mechanical devices. Um, and I'm quickly running out of ideas. So I'm going to go for. Um, uh, let's put in some. Um, 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 what do we call it? Candidates. So one is available there. Two can go there. Oh, look. Two blocking up here, two blocking up here. How did I miss that? Two's in there, of course. Okay, two across here now then. Four is a pair in those squares. Four is also got has also got to be a pair in those squares there. I think that's it. Okay, five blocks down here. So five is somewhere in this row. So that can't be a five. We have a five blocking here. So five is in those squares there as a candidate. Now same thing over this side. Five blocking down here. We have. Five as a ah, matching pair there. And we're going to have five in these squares here. Okay, so if that's um, four and five, uh, then this has got to be three and two, right? Hmm. I'm just wondering if I. Okay, I don't think I've made any. I'm not sure I made any mistakes or not. <laughs> Um, yeah, looks to be okay. Um, right, 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 right. So five blocking across here and across here and up here gives me a pair of fives. And those squares there. Uh, six blocking across here and across here and up there. So a pair of sixes available there. Six blocking up this column and six blocking across here. Excuse the uh, high speed mousing. It's <laughs> jumping over squares, giving us a pair of pair to place there, also six a pair to place here because of this six and this six down here. That's it, isn't it? There's not, nothing else to look at there. Um, seven, well, seven does block this square here, seven blocks across this row, so we've got a pair of sevens like so. Eight blocks up here, so eight is a pair in those squares, and eight's going to have to be a pair in these squares here as well. Excuse me while I move on the chair. And uh, nine. Well, nine blocks across here like that, and nine blocks up there, so nine is a pair there, and nine is a pair there. Nine blocking down here, and nine across there, so nine is a pair in those squares. That's about it, I think. Where do we go from here? Um, we've got 
quite a few candidates in this shoot here, and we've got some numbers placed along here, quite a few. This is the only place we've got three. We've got one three and one four. Let's do this way because we've got a three. We have got might have something here. Okay, so this block here, let's have one blocking across here, one blocking across here. So I'm, I'm gone past the point of uh, Snyder now, looking for pairs. I think. It's not enough. Um, two blocking down here, so I'm going to say two in those squares there. Three we've got already. Four, any information about four? No. Four can go anywhere, right? Um, and five blocking down here. Five like that, six. It's done seven blocks. Seven is in the middle row only. It's done, have we not done nine yet? Yeah, uh, nine blocking down this column, and that gives us nine in those squares there. That's rather a lot, actually. Uh, but I do see a four and a five and a four and a five matching pair. So I immediately know that I can get rid of that four there. Um, and uh, four and a five and a four and a five. So that means we can also get rid of the four or five there, the four or five there, and the four there. Okay, now it's getting slightly easier. Try to reduce the... Um, number of candidates as you go along, if you possibly can. I mean, often you can't do that, but anyway, if you can, that makes it easier to do, of course. Right, over here then, so we've got three blocking here, and that's it, so three is available in those squares. Four now, any idea on four? No, absolutely no idea on four, so four is be anywhere. Five blocks down here. Across here we don't know, so five in the middle column. Six, seven, eight, nine is done. Okay. So we've got four, five, four, five, four, five, and a four, five here as well as a three, nine, but what it means is because of our unique rectangle rule, in this square, we can remove the 4 and the 5, so that will leave us with a 3 and a 9 there. So it's slightly fewer to look at. The fewer candidates we have to look at, in general, the better. Um, Right, I think that's uh, enough staring. Now, shall I? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's see what the missing numbers here are. Oh, no, let's not. Let's just say block one there. One is blocking there, so one can go in. We have those squares. Two we've got already. Three can come anywhere. Four blocks across here, giving us possibility of fours in these squares. Five, six, seven is not done yet. Seven blocks here and here, so seven anywhere in the right hand column. Eight, nine is done. Okay. Um, so up here now, then one blocks across here like this, so one is available in those locations. Three can go anywhere. Four. We really can't tell about four, can we? Five, six, seven, eight is done. Nine blocks across here and nine blocks up here. So, in fact, nine is a pair just there. Hmm. All right, I don't think I'm getting very far with that. Let's come across. I'm going to come on to this right hand here. One, we've done two, we've done three. 
3 is blocking up here, so 3 is like so. 4 is done, 5 is done, 6 is done, 7 blocks up here, so we have 7 as possible candidates there. Uh, 9 is done, 8 is not done yet, 8 blocks up here and 8 blocks down here, and so 8 is available in those squares. Up here then, one is done, two is done, three is not done, but three blocks up here. So we got three possibilities for three, four, yes, five, yes, six, seven, eight, nine. That all done. Okay, we got ourselves a single nine here. That's nice. Wish I'd looked there a bit earlier. And that's going to give us a nine in this square here. And that's going to say we can remove digit nine from her. Excuse me. Let's use the correct mode, we can remove digit 9 from those squares there. Um. Okay, I think that's it. So then let's go to the middle, one across here. So one is available like this. Two is placed already. Three blocks up the central column like this. So three is possible there. Uh, four, we don't know anything about. Oh dear. Four can go anywhere. Oh, no, it can't. Take that back. Sorry, 4 is blocking up here, so 4 can go anywhere like this. Okay, 5 we've placed already, 6 we've placed already, 7 blocks across this row. 7 in those squares, 9 we've already got, 8 we're looking for, 8 blocking up here and 8 blocking across here, so 8 is possible like this. I'm going to have to answer my telephone, hold on, I should be back. Full disclosure, I just had a long telephone conversation but did not look at the uh, <laughs> screen while doing it so um, uh, back to where I was and uh, what was I doing oh, I hate it when I'm interrupted <laughs> um, I have no idea what I was doing it's so annoying isn't it you think these people would understand I need a no I need a like a little message on my phone please only interrupt me with life or death messages when I'm playing Sudoku that's what I need um, I have no idea. I, I was filling in candidates, but I I don't know where where I was filling in candidates. Um, up here maybe. <laughs> ah, no, I'm getting messages too. Right, okay. Um, uh, okay. Let me just check. I think maybe this block up here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are done. So, let me check this um, shoot, this horizontal shoot up here, because I think I may have been looking there. Hmm. I'm going to invent a new term. Sudokus interruptus. I'm going to coin a new term and uh, I should be the main proponent of it as well because I'm always being interrupted when trying to make these videos. Um, <laughs> oh, 
OK, I'm looking around. I don't see anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in missing candidates here, assuming that's what I was doing before, something like that. Right, OK, one goes here. Um, two is done. Three blocks up the middle. And so three goes in these squares. Uh, four blocks across here and four blocks up here. So we've got four, oops, sorry, four there. I'll hit the right key on the keyboard. Uh, five is done, six is done, seven is not done, and seven can go anywhere it's in the mood to go, I think. Let me just double check on that. Seven, yeah. Okay, eight blocks up the middle. These squares can be eight, and nine blocks across the top here, and nine blocks down here, and so nine is possible in those squares there. Oh, we <laughs> a lot to look at, isn't there? Let's highlight numbers in case I've made mistakes again, which is certainly highly plausible. Uh, and also sometimes just to see patterns and how they uh, are emerging. Ah, okay, look at this. See, you've got five blocking up here, so that can't be a five. In fact, the five was here. I wonder if that happened while I was getting my telephone call. I'm going to blame it on that person and say it was them. Okay, so now I've got one, three, four, one, three, and three, four. This is the only space in this uh, row with a two, so we know the two goes there, and then down here we can see now that's got to be a nine, and this cannot be a two anymore. In fact, 2 has to be placed in this square here if we are going to solve the puzzle correctly. Also, the 2 will be here and a 3 will be here now, leading us to say that's a 3 up there. This is a 4. Uh, okay, so 5 in here. We've got 3, 4, 5. This has to be a 9 as the last number to get there. Uh, I've also got to remove candidate 9 there. Now we got uh, four here, so that gives us a five in this square here, and four here, five here, four there. Mm. Uh, these fours must be removed. Look again. Uh, twos. Oh, two is actually complete now. Yeehaw. Threes. Right, got to get rid of threes here. Let's look again. Threes. And now, look, threes. We have pointing candidates here, so we've got to get rid of the threes there. This is the beauty of using these uh, um, 
shaded um, pencil marks, I think, very useful. Uh, so we're left with a single one here now. So we'll place that and we'll place a seven here. And since we've got one and seven, that has to be a five. And uh, let's get rid of the one and the five here. Get rid of the one here as well. And that gives me a pair of four and seven. So if we've got four, seven, these fours cannot be true, can they? We've got one and a three here. This one can't be true because we've got one and three. So now we've got four, eight. Isn't that much neater, isn't it? Looking nice now. Let's come back. Twos done threes. Um, okay, so look, if you notice, we've got top row, bottom row, and in this block, top row here and bottom row here. Let me just highlight those threes again. Look, top row, bottom row, top row, bottom row. So in, here, threes have to be in the middle row. So this and this, we can remove the three immediately. So we know that leaves a single one here. And when we've got that, we'll place a 3 here and a 1 here. Okay, and we'll get rid of the 1 in those squares there. And this 1 will give us a 7 down here to place. And a 1 here. Uh, now, okay, so in this square, we've got to get rid of the 1 and the 7, because we've got those already in this row. And here we've got to get rid of 7. And up here we've got to get rid of 7 also. And here, 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 and here we've got to get rid of 7. And over here, 7's gone. Right. <laughs> Much cleaner. We've got four pair of 4, 6 here now, so these 4s can be removed. That leaves us with 1 and 9. If we've got 1 and 9, this one can go. And in here, 1 and 9 can be removed. Now we've got 3, 8, 3, 8, and here we've got 3, 4, 8, so that has to be a 4. And that gives us a 4 here, 7 in this square. Uh, 1 here now. And uh, let's get rid of this 7 here. Right, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Almost. Just hold on a little bit longer. 3 and 8 here means we can get rid of this. 3, and we can get rid of this 3 and this 8, leaving us to say this square has to be a 7, and this square cannot contain a 7, and this square must be a 7, and this square cannot have a 7. So now we have 3 and 4, so this will have to be a 6 because it can't be 3, so 6 there, 4 there. Let's get rid of candidate 4 in the same block. And also this 4 says, well, this has to be a 3 now. Five value cells is all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything uh, outrageous here. This 4 gives us an 8. You see, it's a buy value cell. It's either the 4 or the 8. It can't be the 4. It's got to be the 8. Uh, this 8 gives us a 7 here. Um, okay, when we can get rid of the 7 there, that gives us a pair of 3 and 8. Looking nice, looking nice. This 5 here means we have to get rid of the candidate 5 there and that will leave us a single 5 to place in this square here. We've got a 3 already so this must be an 8 and that will be a 3 and 8 and a 3 and 8 right and a 3 and 8. Okay uh, we have a 1 here so this is a 6 now this one also gives us a 9 in this square and a 1 in this square. 6 gives us a 9 to place here. 3 and our rainbow pattern comes upon us. Um, because of Sudokus interrupt us, um, not the best game for me. Um, but if I hadn't been interrupted, um, I don't know if it would have been better or worse. Sometimes when you stop the game in the middle for some reason, you come back and see things you didn't see previously. Okay, thank you for joining me, and uh, there's still the Los Angeles Times puzzle to come later today. Uh, if you'd like to hang around, or of course, whatever your time is, they, the puzzle may already be online. That's the beauty of YouTube. It's a 24-hour service. Thank you. Bye-bye.